Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Iron Man Season 6 challenge unofficially alongside the official competitors. Um, so last episode was me getting ready for the final mission. <clears throat> I haven't had a lot of time to actually do much, but what I did do is I, I kind of started that a quick base in a Sathium asteroid um, really close to the our final mission and so that I could spawn in a, uh, a ship and that's what we're gonna do today I think I've got enough ammo let's take a look I built a bunch of ammo so I got all this going on got all the laser pulse laser uh, ammo going on a bunch of the uh, plasma charges going on some uh, artillery turret uh, shells and in the other one what do we got here we've got lots of missiles 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 and missiles because of missiles and that's the reason okay so yeah we're gonna do we're gonna do it up and we're gonna make sure that these drones don't take us out so that we can get in there now what what I also plan on doing is um, so we're gonna take the CV over there try and take out the spawners and then we'll we'll think of uh, how to deal with the interior I'm thinking I might do it something more Iron Man traditional, like with a T2 pistol or something. Um, but we'll we'll see, we'll see. That's going to be with an EVA on too, right? So armor way restricted, <clears throat> way restricted. Um, yeah. So let's dump this crap off here. I think I'm done with the base right now I don't think well you know what let's fire it up I do have juice in here to fire it up we've got the CV here to protect us so let's let's just jump out and go show you the base really quick and we'll fire it up I don't think there's going to be any drone attacks I'm not 100% sure on that I could be totally wrong so let's get my uh, light out here so Here's the docking bay. It's just basically just a big open box. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm hoping I got this the right size with the force field. If not, I might have to go with two smaller ones or something in the center. Make It might have to be off center. The, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. So I put some uh, cargo in here. Well, the boxes so far got this room pretty much done for the most part for what I want to do right now uh, so there's a gravity generator in there there's the uh, solar panel capacitor in behind there ventilator so all the O2 we've got the medical stuff here we've got three uh, advanced constructors repair uh, so I gotta build an armory I'll stick it there and I don't know but upstairs what I did is gonna be the grow up as I bounce my way up and so you can see I've got it should be all sealed now <clears throat> and um, okay so let's you know what let's fire this thing up let's go down here hopefully it doesn't launch any uh, so the generator and the um, let's straighten out here okay we'll go in here let's group this up right now fine and go into here we'll fill this up oh can we not fill it up did that take everything we have really okay well let's fill this up we should be able to fill that up okay and let's power it on and so it's oh size two i didn't think it would be that big already 
Okay, um, do I have enough oxygen to turn on the oxygen? Ooh, I guess so. And, yep, the heat is coming down. It is oxygenated, so I have sealed it. Okay, good, good. This this is kind of ugly here. I might punch that out there and put windows or, or well, I'll have to, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, so, so now I should have, Turn my jetpack off, and there we go. There we go. I have gravity, so now we can just go up here. And oh, to get upstairs, I'm going to have to turn my jetpack on, but that's okay. So, if I continue on with this after the assault, then I'll have a sufficient base started to you know have fun with i'm not necessarily ready to get rid of this if i die or if i don't so uh i figure why not build a base if i'm going to build a big freaking platform right so i already tried to spawn it out in space and it won't let me and that was something i was going to test uh free floating cv out in space spawning it without a platform does not work. You cannot do it in the default settings. Uh, set to medium with all things set to true. Okay. Uh, well, let's, that totally worked, didn't it? See, so yeah, I got it right. I got it right. It's working. It's still warming up. So I got the size correct. Look at that. It nicely, nice snug fit there. Good. Nice. Nice. So this is all oxygenated in here too. Wow. Okay. So huge entrance from whatever to come fly into. God, my, my little CV can almost fly through here. So that means I could put two of these lengthwise and have a seam wow you know what i could potentially make a huge space fortress that a decent sized cv can actually fly into an oxygenated area <laughs> i don't know encapsulate like a asteroid or something that'd be kind of cool well let's get my cv out of the way because we're going to spawn in this other one and yeah, gotta turn the jetpack in on to get in now. So we'll do that. Let's go up here and let's launch. I gotta go into third person for this because I don't have any windows. <laughs> don't judge me. Okay. And oh, I obviously do not have any. Oh, two on me. Yep. So that's gone. So let's put some of this crap away since I stopped building for a bit here. So I'm going to have to put the solar panel blocks up too eventually. But I think right now we want to go assault this, this evil bastion of alien. No, I got that in reverse. Okay, uh, is that, oh, do I need the drill? No, but let's swap that out for that anyway. Put that into there. Keep those 50 in here. So this is going to be a spawn the CV in. So let's launch this. Woof. What happened there? I must have hit the mountain. Great. So what, I dented that or... I'm thinking. <laughs> God, I'm a bad pilot. Oh, hell yeah. That, uh, you know, that does, that, that definitely is not what goes in the family. Trust me. My, uh, my grandfather and my father were exceptional pilots. <laughs> okay. Um, but hey, it's a video game, right? You know. Don't judge me. Uh, let's get out of here. 
Where can I park? Should I just park up there? That should be out of the way, right? I can come down. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do that. So we'll go like this. We'll level out. Get our auxiliary going, so I'm way over top of it. That's okay. Let's come down. Oops, am I hitting something? I'm hitting the rock. Am I hitting the rock? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Maybe. Let's park. Let's park. Here we go. And then we'll go like this. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See it? See? See? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got this. And. Come on. Come on. And. Right, 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 right. Come on. Oh. We'll just level off. There we go. Cut the engines. Okay, so it hopefully will protect us on the other side even. It should be able to get at most stuff that's gonna shoot at us unless it comes up from underneath. So well we'll take a we'll take our chances. Let's jump out and spawn this thing. Okay, so what do I got on me? Do I have any blocks at all? No. So let's take some blocks with me, just in case I've got to make it bigger. Because that could happen. So we'll take that. That should be okay. Okay. Well, let's do this. And... I will have to come back up here and grab all the ammo, but that's okay. Let's go down. So I should be able to just turn my jetpack off and go down. Now, what I should have done is put some lights on the outside where, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to poke out some lights. There's actually windows there that uh, go through the sathium vein that would be kind of cool putting some lights out for that. So let's get this spawned. Um, what kind of field do we have here? Time, 13 hours, 30. With it doing nothing really besides pushing oxygen and, uh, and heat around, okay. So, is this going to be big enough? Oops, we'll see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn the jetpack on. I was losing the uh, gravity. That was kind of weird. Why did I lose gravity there? Was I too far away from the core or something? Does... Huh. So does a does a single gravity thing only affect a certain area? If anyone knows that, let me know. I've never actually really tested that. Oh, getting a little bit of video glitching. Okay, so let's turn that back off and see what happens. See, I can't. It's not letting me. So the... Okay. That's fine. Whatever. We'll just do my jetpack. So obviously the gravity generator is only good for a certain area around it, I guess. Okay, good to know. Let's get this spawned. So, is it gonna let us? It's into the, oh, it's into the asteroid over there. Yeah, so let's, let's move over. Can I move over to the side and keep it on the pad? No, nope. see it's hitting the, okay, I gotta get it up. Right, straighten up, come on, and get this up here, nope, wrong way, come on, come on, come on, nope, 
it's hitting over there. Come on. Okay, so obviously this pad might not be big enough. Let's see. Let's see. Can I can I get this? Come on. Come on. Just a little bit and then over. Come on. Can I get this? Oh, is it not going to do it? It's not quite. Come on. Really? Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can see it. Oh, I think it's okay. So if I, what about if I just come back more then, right? And then see, it looks like, okay. So it looks like it might be okay on the front there now. So let's see if, can I just get it over without it clipping the, come on. That might do it. Let's see if can I get this to go up. There we go. Look at that. And spawn. Nice. So just barely big enough to spawn it. Okay. That's awesome. I thought it would be around that size. <laughs> Total blind guess. Yep. Well, that's the size of it. Yep. Okay. So here we go. We got the uh, big death trap here. Uh, it's not quite fully loaded as... Come on. It's not f quite fully loaded. Let's uh, turn my light on here. So let's get power into this thing. And we'll fill that. We'll fill that. And oh, okay. Well, wow. So a 50... A pack of 50 only fills it halfway of oxygen. Wow, good to know. <laughs> Holy. Okay, so here it is. Here's the the cargo bay. The Basically what it is is just a big flying hangar. But I call it my combat hangar because... Da, 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 it has pretty much every <laughs> turret... You can possibly have. Um, I was going to put another plasma one there. I, I got rid of the flak ones. They're just a little bit too slow for space combat. Personally, they're good on bases, but I don't know. Um, the uh, And the artillery turrets are nice to jump into and shoot things with, so that'll be fun. It's got the rocket launchers on the front i took off the laser um the pulse lasers because i found them to be not as damaging and and just i don't know it was easier to use the uh the missiles all the time the homing missiles it's like wherever you put your crosshairs is guaranteed is where it's gonna hit so yeah this thing has decent amount of armor. This is all bulkhead right up basically to the window. Um, so it's not too bad. It usually can handle it can handle a good it can handle a, a, a some decent amount of damage without uh, without being compromised. Uh, I've had windows on it pop out fighting there there is a, a real wicked one with a bunch of uh, turrets and satellite bases with turrets and stuff that I fought with this thing and, and actually succeeded because of its how nimble it is so I think it's going to do me fine right here taking on these drones um, so basically what I want to do is I want to get all my supplies into it <clears throat> so let's um you know what i think what i'll do is i'll just fly this thing back over and just uh do a back-to-back -back transfer of goods it's the quickest way come in okay <clears throat> turn that back on and get over there so we'll just go like this, and like this, and level out, and then we'll get over here, and oops, get 
down. And oops, that's probably a little too low. But we'll try it here. Let's go back a bit. Go back. Yeah, I gotta go up a bit. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is cool. This is good. Okay. Okay, so let's uh let's do some transfers here. We can just cut the power to this one's engines and jump out. Okay. So we're going to transfer a bunch of stuff over to that one. Uh, so let's, I can just do it right uh, here, probably, right? Or I can do it with my drone even. You know what? That is the safest way to do it. Let's, uh, we can hide over here. Oops, getting some video. Okay. And then... All you gotta do is look at, be close enough to one, look at it with the drone, get into the control panel. Uh, so we need the ammo. So we'll take all this stuff. And this stuff. I fit it all? Yep, okay, good. Okay, so let's dump that into here. So, control panel over to here. And we'll just go into the fill all. And that dump 10,000. Wow. Um, geez, I didn't know I had that much. Okay, good, good. That's a good start, right? And then the the other one. So the ammo. Ammo. My ammo one. So this is the missiles. All the homing missiles. So this is the rain of death and destruction these missiles here are what are gonna save my ass really these things are crazy they they're guaranteed drone killers all on their own this this thing will take on the drones no problem <clears throat> okay so uh what else we needed the fuel and the O2. So let's grab a bunch of bottles. Let's not be shy. Okay, good enough. <laughs> okay. Put that back into here. I know this is boring watching me do stuff like this, but this is actually the easiest way to do it, believe it or not, is using your drone like this. I know it's kind of funny, but it's true. Okay, and we'll fill all. So 1,800 missiles, homing missiles, nice. Now both my turrets and my rocket launchers use those missiles, so they can go pretty quick. That 1,800 is not that much, really. If, if it's launching them all the time, it, it can uh, drain that down pretty quick, trust me. Okay, so we need to fill that more. And, okay, well, we're not necessarily warping out of here anytime soon, so we can now turn the oxygen on. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, so you can see it's a size 3 vessel. Uh, it's not that big, really. And it's got lots of fuel in it right now. We can look at the stats of it. So just under 10,000. So just, just over 9,000 ingots in iron, 1,700 silicone, 15,000 sath, 1,000 copper, 5,000 neo, 2,500 cobalt, 3,300 erastrium zascosium, uh, some plastic, some wood planks and 36 growing plots so yes it has growing plots and i can go show you that but right now i just wanted to load up a bunch of ammo into it 
And we're also going to transfer, what else should we transfer over to it? So, um, I guess we don't really need to transfer much over to it right now. It's just going to go show you guys. We'll, uh, we'll grab some, we'll grab some stuff for the food processor. That's what we'll do. So let's grab some stuff here. We'll grab a bunch of this water and a bunch of the spoiled food. There we go. Okay. And actually we'll, nah, we can, that's fine. We can get some plates. Actually, we'll get some plates here. Got all these plates. <laughs> uh, we'll grab a bunch, actually. <clears throat> For now, and then we'll just get out of here and go over to here. And put this stuff away really quick. So we'll put uh, some plates in the builder, in the ammo. Uh, we don't need any of these smelter. Uh, okay, probably, I guess, all, all of them in the ammo. <laughs> uh, what else? We want the food processor stuff. Water, crushed stone. Actually, you know what? We'll um, we will take one of these and put it in the food processor, right? Yeah. Because. Oh, whoa, alien. Uh, oh, right. The new updates to the food. Yeah had a lot of time to read and stuff about this right now sorry guys I know this is all new stuff that I'm supposed to be pixie stock bundle really holy crap can we even can we even make those to grow can we grow those we can't grow those wow pickable only so bandages are gonna be wow so Akua and where else pixie stock bundle um, Omicron, I think, I think, yep. Oh, man. So that's how it was before. That hasn't changed. Baron root, Phoenix root, confetti moss. So, okay, they, <clears throat> they got rid of, they got rid of the energy pills needed and the ham or whatever it was. Wow, it's all stuff you got to go pick out in the wild. So you got to go foraging for all this stuff to make it now. I mean, you, you kind of had to do that with the plasma before, but now it's like everything. The cactus for the small ones. Wow. The Veron root, the Phoenix fronds, confetti moss. Wow. So, horribly difficult to make now. Uh, same with the antidote pills. Ooh, holy crap. Cactus and fern? Really? Are you kidding me? That might like only occur on Omicron or something. That combo. Wow. Alien tooth, alien thorpe, pure for alien parts. Okay, so that one's still doable, the antidote injection. But making the antidote pills, I think, ooh, if you're not on the right planet, you're screwed. Interesting. Cava beans, purified water. Okay, they're changing up stuff here. Veron root, ooh, lots of Veron root and stuff now. Two raw meat. 
one room. Okay, was that two all, all along? It might have been. Okay. Um, wow. That is some stuff, difficult stuff to make now. So we need alien spike lemons. Wow, we can't, we can no longer, holy crap, alien spike lemon? Huh. Okay, so what's this? Alien spike lemon also in canned meat. Really, guys? And corn, tomatoes, tomatoes, corn. So they, so you gotta put corn in your canned meat, okay? Um, cobra leaves and dino stew. Woof! They made okay sandwich, raw meat, bread, tomatoes. Hmm. Paris time of forty. Here's time 486. Wow. Like, wow. 536. Radiation minus one. Stamina 19. Health. Whoa. It, it's a big heal and actually big. Whoa. 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 They really changed it, didn't they? They changed all the stats on it. Yeah. What it does. It actually can lower your radiation and it heals you a hell of a lot more. That's like a big heal. What are these? These are 150 health now. Okay. And 300 health. Uh, what are bandages then? 45. That's about what they were before. I thought these were like 75. So that's that's impressive. 150. Okay. So. Huh. Okay, so the canned food's even better now, but way harder to make. Well, that's really disappointing. Can't even make canned meat. Alien spike lemon. Gosh darn. That's... That's some difficult stuff to find, too. Wow. Wow, I'm not even sure. You know, I think I think that's Omicron too. Now that I think about it, it's like really. I mean, it's like lemon. I mean, unless they changed it so that they they put like alien spikes on all the starter planets, maybe. I don't know. I didn't read. I didn't have time. I'm so sorry. I I just <laughs> I got no time this week. Okay, so. Okay, now that we're astounded by what we can't do with food, <laughs> let's go take a look at what I grew. Uh, and if I turn off my jetpack, am I going to fail? Probably. So let's turn that back on. Let's go here and we'll come down into the death trap. Now, I could put gravity on in here, I believe. Now, do I have that tied to it? Let's take a look. Gravity generator, and it is currently off. So, and it's, is it tied to anything? Nope. I can tie it to that. Okay, so now, if I go like that, there should be gravity. Yes, it shows gravity. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> we can walk around on the ship. And uh, you know what I need? I need I need food. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make any. <laughs> Just, uh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that, but... Um, it is what it is. Uh, okay. I'm still a little, I'm still a little shocked at the ingredients on the canned foods. I guess I'm, I'm glad that I've got like hundreds of them made. Um, 
Wow. You know, the parish times on these things. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Well, actually, let's bring some of that over too. Well, I can't really see, see myself using this CV that much anymore, so I might as well just grab most of this. Okay. And I can just go like this. Okay. So crazy. Uh, let's put this stuff in the bridge fridge. Kind of combat foods. They but now the other stuff does really good heals too, doesn't it? Well, so I mean, it's like, what does this do now? Poisonous bite, food twenty, health twenty five. Ugh. Oh, they nerfed plant protein. Ah. Oh. They nerfed plant protein and made and made bandages super hard to make. Oh man. Oh, they're gonna make it really hard on me. Oh, that kind of craps my playing style. Okay. Oh well. I'll adapt. Whew. Wow. Okay, well let's give you a little tour. So we'll just uh We'll just head straight up first, and I'll take you into the garden, which is all picked, ready to go. So we've got our aloe and fiber. So I made this in Alpha 6, for Alpha 6, really. And it had all the ingredients necessary for canned vegetables. So, I mean, now it, it still does. We just need to go pick the final ingredient, because you can't grow it yet apparently so well this is the lounge area garden and here we'll go up into the oh i gotta turn my jetpack on and here i can turn it off now okay and here's engineering you can see we've got the engine room in behind there we've got lots of fuel tanks and o2 and the warp drive and and like you know gravity generators and you know we've got it all going on in there so yep that's engineering we also got a little uh our own pilot seat if we need to in case we're trapped up here for some reason and i don't know maybe the uh it's it's basically an emergency piloting seat okay so i'll take it down into the cockpit area so this is a quick little like just a little med bay area and just some bare necessities so we got a, a toilet and shower there that's just the other um the ele elevator going up to the, the lounge up there so and then um basically our main piloting area we've got an entrance going to the outside of the ship up here um okay so let's jump in this thing and see what we should do about all the turrets and stuff so i need to set all this up correctly i don't want to destroy anything on the inside of the building so this should be a let's wow well, okay let's close that thank you well the turrets should be yeah so it's 20 turrets okay uh let's get all this crap off there so i only want it going after drones if you know what i don't even want i don't i don't even want my artillery turrets going after drones we're just gonna uncheck everything for those so i'll manually manually use them
Okay. So many guns. Many guns, on the other hand, will uh, get rid of everything except for alien and well, other faction. Why not? I'm just so used to playing on multiplayer. This is how I set up my turrets. Doesn't really matter leaving uh, other faction turned on. I don't think at this point. I just don't want to get carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, having to click with that one extra click every time. So I'm not going to unclick it. So you guys can look at it every time. Every time I go in, you'll see it checked and mean nothing because it's solo play. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's get this done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to go check out this stupid freaking... <sighs> this, this base that's going to kill us, probably. So, I haven't really... I don't even really know anything about it. <laughs> All I know is it never shot at me as I went got really close to it. So, I was like, oh, okay, no turrets. But then all of a sudden, a, a ton of dudes came launching out of it, it seemed it was like okay well i'm out of here but we'll come back with the uh, big boy here and i just got to make sure that all these are not going to take out are not going to go for stuff on the inside of it and because i don't want to take out anything on the inside of it with my exterior turrets I just want them to take care of the drones and that should alien should be good enough. I'm pretty sure that that always works for me. So so there we go. Everything's set up now. Uh we've got a couple of plasma, a bunch of minigun, bunch of pulse laser, a bunch of rocket turrets and we've got all the ammo for that and it should be yep, so we've got 1800 rockets. We've got um, 750 shots with the plasma cannons, 10,000 rounds of the miniguns, uh, 4,500 shots of the pulse laser turrets, and 200 of the artillery shells. So that should get us some, that should do some damage. I'm pretty sure that's going to do us some damage. So let's get these thruster set up correctly uh sorry i know i'm not really all all that with it and ready here okay so that's set to engines that's good engines 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 okay well glide okay we don't need to do that anymore because they added brakes we could turn the brakes off now uh, so i used to have to actually make a glide switch to turn my front um my brake my braking thrusters i used to have to but it's not it's not it wasn't the same as like now you can just turn your your braking off no matter what direction you're facing you'll keep going the same direction as when when you first turn it off which is kind of cool it's it's different than just turning off your front thrusters <laughs> trust me uh okay so i think that looks pretty good we're going to turn the turrets on um i think we're good to go let's get the engines going here and it's showing us at 21 hours worth so let's go let's go check this out okay so i need to set up my uh well that's not that bad actually so let's see load up my rocket launchers oh you know what i need to eat something really quick <laughs> oh, come on uh what do i i don't want that i want my fridge way up here i think i put all everything in here yeah let's just pound one of those good enough okay so where is the crucible it's like somewhere over there from the marker on my map so let's go check it out there it is. 
Okay, so my turret should automatically load this up, load themselves. I'm not gonna do that for them. I know a lot of people like to go into all their turrets, but when you got like 20 of them, I'm just... <sighs> I'm not gonna bother. Okay, so let's see what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll f what I need to do actually is let's take out the spawner on the, so let's get facing the right way, right? So where are the spawners for this thing? I think it's, I think they're somewhere here. So let's, let's move in a little bit. We're going to be looking for some blocks that are turrets don't they but they're not the radars okay so is it those blue ones the the yellow ones maybe those might be spawners can I shoot it from here yeah okay so why isn't it why where's um okay why isn't it working hello <clears throat> Hello, wake up. Wake up, are these it's, is it bugged? Oh, don't tell me that the, my final mission thing is bugged. I, you know what? Ah, oh. really? It's bugged? <laughs> oh. That even makes it more sad. Is it really seriously bugged? Is there no... Did I just take out two spawners without them even working? Uh, but it... But it had a whole bunch of drones last time. I swear, when I went by. Did they all, like, vaporize? Did they despawn? And it doesn't respawn? Well, that's a serious flaw in the game. If you, if all you got to do is get close to something, and it eats up all the spawn limit on the, on the spawners. Huh. Well, that kind of just makes this. Uh, does it even did did dudes spawn? Let's see if dudes even spawned. Can't really hear anything, but I mean the there's power. See that the, it it's under power. It's it has power. Where is, oops, is that the core there? No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't just dangle the core out at the bottom, would they, like that? No. Well, maybe. Well, that's not how I'm going to do it anyway, even if it is the core. Okay, so lots of docking bays. I couldn't hear any guys. Let's position ourselves upright. Okay. So, nothing to deal with on the... Oops. Wow. I am a horrible pilot. I, I, I told you get all, you know, I told everyone that. So just to be clear. Uh, okay. Let's, let's drone this up. Let's drone this up. Put my jet pack on. And we'll go check this out.
can we get into here? Other faction. Okay. So is there a door or something? Maybe there's a door up there that makes you come down. It's probably a door. Okay, so let's go check that out. There's probably a door up there. Yeah, I think there's a door right there. Right. So we'll just we just go down just a bit here. Come on. Just a bit. Just a bit. Don't wanna hit. Okay. Can we just move over a bit? Just a bit. Just a bit, okay. And then we got a jetpack on, okay. We'll spawn our drone. I know I'm being super cautious, but I'm just, I don't wanna die in the final mission, get all this other faction. Okay, so it is a door. <coughs> okay. I don't hear any dudes. That's a little disheartening would really suck if my uh, if my mission was bugged <laughs> uh. have to see where my backup was <laughs> but uh, I just the time my time is so critical right now and that's one thing I've run out of now is time so I'm going to go back, grab some more gear, and get prepped to assault this thing by foot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to uh, my, my little base there, my platform base, and get the stuff necessary to do a ground assault, because now I'm ready for that phase on this. And really sad that I had zero resistance um, I'm I'm thinking it bugged out because I don't know why or maybe I mean it doesn't look like it's run out of gas that's why I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's just it just reached its spawn limit maybe and then they all despawned that's that's sad if that happened then I didn't even get to kill any and loot any uh, oh well so a little bit of a disappointing finish to this episode guys I know that is kind of disappointing but okay we're still alive um, we'll see what the inside has entailed for us tomorrow until then guys uh, if you like this episode give me a like and uh, if you want to know when the next episode comes out subscribe and make sure that you're um, check off subscriptions well <laughs> next time will be the last one of this series and it'll be a flop or or success one or the other um, if I live I live if I die I die but Next episode will be the last one of the series. And I hope we live. So stay tuned. One more to go, guys. Until then, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day.